All right, we're here with senior midfielder Sonia Espatia after a lengthy debate in the press box. Sonia was credited with the Matador's goal in the second half. It was definitely an interesting play. We'll open it up to questions. Yeah, could you just talk about what you saw that led to you taking the speculative shot and what you saw and how it went in? I am, well, I, I was taking, I was on two players and they were trying to take me down and so I kind of cut once and then cut twice and I saw the goal then so I tried taking a shot with my left and it hit off another um, Portland girl and it went shade, shanked to the right so and it, the goal was to the left so it went in. It was exciting. Can you talk a little bit about the difference in the team's effort uh, tonight as compared to the season opener Friday against Santa Barbara? Sure. Um, in Santa Barbara, I think we were a little nervous and it kind of took us over and we weren't very composed. And I think tonight, since we were so much hype with um, it being a home game and the first game under the lights, I think we were a little bit more um, excited and more calm. So I, it had a lot to do with um, just being more relaxed. And I think we really picked it up. Big difference. And, uh, you know, just talk a little bit about how this, uh, you know, even though it is a tough loss, uh, you know, how does this result in the effort tonight uh, give you guys momentum going forward towards uh, St. Joe's a week from today? Um, I think it'll give us more of what we need to work on. I think we did well. It was a disappointing result, but um, I think if we just get out this practice week, we'll get what we need to get done, and hopefully we come out with a better result next week. All right, that's senior Sonia Esputia. She will be back in action August 29th when the Matadors host St. Joseph's at 1 p.m. at Matador Soccer Field. Thanks, Sonia. Thank you. Thanks.